Hi, my name is Justin, and I am going to talk about Lepidoptera. Spelled as L-E-P-I-D-O-P-T-E-R-A. It means scales and wings in Latin. So, do you know what I am going to talk about today? I am going to talk about butterflies and moths. Lepidoptera is a family name that butterflies and moths are part of. Sometimes you see Lepidoptera every day. Maybe resting on a flower, flying in the air, flying near the lamps at night, or resting on a leaf. Butterflies and moths have a lot of similarities. They both have wings, scales, antennae, six legs, compound eyes, uh, abdomen, and a proboscis, which is a feeding tube that is 200 more sensitive than our own tongue. Butterflies and moths have the same life cycle too. First, it starts off as an egg. Second, it hatches and become caterpillars, which are the larva. Third, when it's done feeding, it finds somewhere safe to make its chrysalis or cocoon. Fourth, it emerges as an adult butterfly, but its abdomen is swollen and its wings are wet and crackly as you expect of being squished into the pupa. Then after a few minutes, the abdomen shrinks and the wings dry and smooth. So they find a mate and lay more eggs. Sometimes people can't tell the differences between butterflies and moths because they look so similar. Butterflies and moths have a lot of differences too. Butterflies have less species and they have skinny antennae. They fly at day and they use their own silk for making a chrysalis. They like nectar from flowers and when they were a caterpillar, they were not hairy and they had thin bodies. But moths, on the other hand, they have more species and their antennae are furry. They fly at night and they form a cocoon, just like a chrysalis, but they use their silk and other particles, such as leaves, dead leaves, or even paper. And when they were caterpillars, they were hairy and they had thick bodies. Moths come out at night because they think it's actually day and they mistake light for bright flowers. Many butterflies and moths have different diets. The death heads moth likes to drink blood. <clears throat> the blue morpho butterfly likes to sip juice out of rotting fruit on, on the rainforest floor. Many males in Africa of butterflies like to sip nutrients out of animal dung. In Africa, leopard dung is their favorite. Butterflies and moths look similar, but they're actually very different, like wasps and bees. A one species of butterfly and moth have a wingspan of 12 inches. Comparing to that size, another species of moth has a wingspan of only two millimeters. 
at South Point, my school, Miss McKenzie, my teacher, ordered a bunch of caterpillar larvae. And when it was time to hatch out of their chrysalises, we found out that it was actually painted lady butterflies that we were taking care of. You can do what I am doing by following these easy steps. Step one, think of a topic that you will like to do for your speech. Step two, research in the library and find pictures and videos that is related to your topic. Step three, make a mind map. I will talk about mind maps in my next video. Step four, when you're designing your draft, use your mind map as a tool. Five, design a good copy. Six, ask your parents to videotape you. Thank you for listening to my speech. I'll see you in my next video.